Third String All Pro says, what's up, bro? I'm shopping for receivers. This is my first home theater. Do you recommend buying a quality receiver right away and building around that? Maybe you have a video where you discuss this and I didn't see it. Third String, thanks so much for the great question. Here's the thing. Number one, if you are building a theater room, and let's say it's going to take six months or more to build that theater room, my answer to you is no, don't buy your AVR. The biggest reason is that in the electronics world, things change pretty rapidly, and most of the time new products and new technologies come out about once a year. So a lot of AVR companies will come out with the latest greatest and they improve the, the AVRs that they had from the previous year. And so at that point, you have two options. You can either invest in the new technology or the new features, or you can even save some money by buying last year's model, which is still a great model, but just may not have the latest greatest features. And so if your theater room is gonna be six months, eight months, a year, maybe even longer, absolutely not. I wouldn't buy your projector, I wouldn't buy your receiver. Those things that have electronic components in them, kind of save those for last, then make your decision on, uh, you know, once your theater room is almost built, go ahead and buy those electronics then. Now on the flip side, let's say, kind of like I was, I bought this home, we moved into this theater room and it was just a blank canvas, but I also wanted to use it, you know, while I was building it. I didn't want to have to wait six months or a year or two years before me and my family could enjoy it. So we built it over stages. And so at that point, yes, I would need an AVR because I need to have something to power my speakers. You know, if it's only going to be a couple months or, you know, it's going to be relatively quick, absolutely go ahead and buy the AVR. Now, as far as a quality AVR, one thing that I recommend is over my lifetime, I've kind of learned that if I buy the cheapest, I, I'm basically, there's a reason why it's the cheapest, you know? And so those budget AVRs, they're gonna struggle with things like um, power supply. They're not gonna have a huge power supply. Um, so the more speakers you add to that, the, you know, the less effective it's going to work in your setup and the more it's gonna struggle powering six or seven, nine, 11 speakers. And so if you have something in the middle of the road, I think that's really where your value is. And that's typically where I try to buy most uh, electronics. I typically don't buy the most expensive because a lot of times you end up having to spend a lot more to get a little bit of performance increase. And so I would kind of recommend maybe looking at that mid-tier AVR, you know, this may be a $1,200 AVR, $1,500 AVR, $2,000 uh, AVR. So yes, it's not cheap, but I find if you spend five, 700 bucks, a lot of times, you know, it's not gonna have things like pre-outs, which you may not want now, but you might want that in the future. So in short, if you're building a home theater, if you're going to finish the home theater within six months, go ahead and buy your components. Um, but if it's going to be say six months, eight months, a year or more, absolutely hang off on the electronics, buy things like speakers. Those will last you for decades. I had a pair of Eclipse La Scala's. I rocked in this theater room for seven years and they were 40 years old. And so don't be scared about uh, investing in speakers and you can buy those as early on in the process, the build process as you want because those speakers aren't going to change. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have additional questions on home theater, drop those down in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many as I can in the year 2023. Well guys, hope you have an incredible week. God bless and we will catch you in the next video.